Hey, you. Come here, Manny. <laughs> What is going on, my Mavaholics? Your boy Chris Maverick, as always, got my best friend, Cameron Man, with me, Manny Onetti. What up? And welcome to the next episode of The Glory Host of Las Vegas, your online travel show every so often. Now, I bet you guys are wondering, why did I do the introduction like that? You know, kind of like a creepy clown type thing. Well, let's just say we've got some peeping to do, which is exactly where we're going today. We're going to a little place called Peep Land. Now, as you can see, this place is located on Highland Drive. This place is literally out in the middle of nowhere. This is like Las Vegas' best kept secrets. Why? Because I could not find any information about this one. It was just like uh, one of the previous glory holes we did, like the laundromat bar, where we could not find any information about it whatsoever. The only thing we do know, it's actually an adult store. And I know what you're thinking. It's not those classy adult stores like the Love Store or Adam and Eve. No. As you can see, it is a ghetto as fuck adult store. So, as always, we're going to try and see what we can find in this store. Let's see if we can try and find some good stuff in there. You know, maybe find a little, you know, handcuffs with a little fur on it. You know, maybe some whips, chains, you know, you know, hell, maybe some strap-ons. You know, let's find the works because <laughs> we're trying to find it all in this store. As always, we're going to try and get as much live footage as we can. We're going to get as many photos taken as possible. And then, yeah, we're going to give you guys our final review of what we think of Peepland as a whole. So, let's go. So we just got done checking out Peepland, and I gotta say, that was the most uncomfortable experience for a glory hole that I have ever done in my life. Now, I wasn't able to get a whole lot of footage or a lot of photos like I wanted to, but here's why. You know, first off, right when we walk in, of course you have to pay a dollar just to even to get into the store, first off. So obviously you're getting ripped off just by the fact that you gotta pay to get in. So, so of course we paid a dollar to get in, which of course you would think a dollar is not a big deal, but of course it definitely was a big deal. So as we go in there, it looks like it's just a regular, you know, kind of like love store type thing, you know, or like a porn store, you know, because uh, obviously they had like dildos up in there, you know, penis pumps all over the wall, you know, had different porn, and I mean porn to the max. And I mean, it was like so much porn. DVD galore. Exactly, DVD galore. They had every single porn you could possibly think of. Now, of course, they actually have a little arcade in the back. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not an arcade where you're, you know, playing arcade games and stuff like that. No, unless uh, you want to call Creeps and Weirdos, you know, an arcade. But I'm going to explain that in a minute. So, of course, we asked the manager, you know, about the uh, arcade, like what goes on in the arcade or like what, is, what exactly is it about. He And the only response we get is, Oh, uh, just, uh, just boobs and stuff. And of course, uh, of course, my cameraman, Matty on 90, he asked him, like, he, of course, he was kind of wondering, like, what do you mean, stuff? 
And so of course, then as we go in there, after like the first couple a couple of seconds in there, we knew what stuff they were talking about. First off, had to pay another dollar to even go into the arcade, which we absolutely regret because as we walked in there, of course they had a stack of porn you know, up on a lockbox, and I shit you not, there were at least two, three weirdos standing outside these little booths or whatever, you know, just staring us down. They're looking at Matty on 90 like he's a salad, and then they look, they're over here looking at me like I'm the main course, which I was already uncomfortable just walking in there as it is, because I'm just trying to look at the porn, trying to look at the DVDs. And then uh, we actually asked this one weirdo, like if we had, first saw Matty 90 asked him if he worked here. He's like, he's like, oh, no. So that guy actually showed us like how the booths work. So what it, what, how the way it works is inside you put, you put a dollar in and it'll actually play some porn for you. Okay, get, get a little show or whatever, put a little dollar and watch a little porn, okay. I tried to go do that. I tried to go try a little booth. And as I walk in, I see there's like a dog tray of water then you go in there, they also have a stack of tissues in there. A little, looks like a little desk type thing where, where you sit. And then the little TV where you actually watch the porn. And I'm thinking to myself, as I walk in there, I'm, I see this dog tray of water. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck is this for? <laughs> so, I'm about to do my recording, right? And that same creep that helped us out earlier, showing us how the booth worked, I'm over here doing my recording, right? Trying to record on the inside, that way you guys, the fans, can see what it looks like. That same creep walked into the booth right after I did, literally two seconds after me. I look over my shoulder, I seriously thought it was the manager, dude. I seriously thought it was the manager, so I tried to turn my phone off real quick and put it in my pocket. I look over, it was that same freaking creep, that same weirdo, and I asked him, and I'm like, because I gave him attitude, I'm like, I'm like, oh, can I help you? And this is his response. He's like, yes. Exactly like that. A total creep. You, like you know those. You know like you know the like the pedophile type raper type deals. You know wearing the freaking you no know, jackets, the glasses. You no know, older older males doing this shit. Like yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That shit is real, people. It's real. So as he's over there standing there, right by in the right on the corner, in the booth, he's like yes. As he's doing that, I'm over here getting more pissed off, and I'm in the back of my mind, I'm literally scared out of my life. I thought I was gonna get raped in there. Now come on, Ben. Let's play dummy sticks. What's dummy sticks? I don't wanna play dummy sticks. I don't wanna play dummy sticks. I even told the guy, I'm like, hey, I'm about to use this machine, so could you, you know, give me some space? He mumbled something under his breath too, while still, you know, just staring, you no know, looking, looking at me. Like he's like he's trying to freaking get some of this. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't gonna happen, buddy. No. So so I told, so I literally told him again, hey, I'm hey seriously, I'm gonna be using this machine machine. So could you give me some space, you know, and get out? Then the guy finally decides to walk out, and then I was able to finish my recording of what the inside of the booth looks like. So that I was get, I was literally scared shitless. I was scared for my life. I seriously thought I was gonna get raped. After I got my recordings, I literally hauled ass to try to get out. I couldn't even find out which which way was the exit so that way I could actually get out. Because as I'm getting out, there's still dudes, you know, walking in the freaking place, you know. I think this place is where guys like to hook up. Now, I don't know if it's true, but after that experience, I would not doubt it. When I say guys go there to hook up, you know what I'm talking about. So, for this glory hole, I am not fucking coming back here ever again, dude. I am not coming back here. This is the first glory hole that we've ever done so far to where it's gotten to the point where I will not come back to this place ever again. I will not, I do not recommend this place to you guys. I do, I hope you guys do not come to this place because I don't want you guys, especially my uh, male audience, I do not want to see you guys go through what I went through in there just now because who knows what could happen next time because next time you might get raped. Who knows? So I was lucky that I was able to even get out because like I said, I'm a big dude. I was able to get that guy to freaking back off. But like I said, hey, you know, it only takes one time to get your ass beat and then get <laughs> if you know what I mean. So not only again you get your ass beat, but then you're gonna get your ass beat. <laughs> that is tonight's episode of the Glory Holes of Las Vegas. If you guys like this video, which I hope you guys don't, you know, hey, go hit that thumbs up if you want. If you want, but I don't blame you guys if you hit that thumbs down. I don't blame you guys if you do that. 
But hey, but be sure to subscribe to my channel. You know, I got it all. You know, Facebook, you know, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. You know, be sure to subscribe to my social media as well, as well as my YouTube. But hey, but I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys get my videos. Because you know what, I'm also I also have some upcoming projects for you guys that I'm very excited about. You know, I have my 1,000 video subscriber that's going to be coming up pretty soon. You know, to show you guys my appreciation for all you guys subscribe to my channel. And I also want to promote my upcoming clothing line that I'm working on. I got a special show a treat for you guys for all you subscribers for the 1500 subscriber and then for the 2000 subscriber and the 2500 subscriber and so on and so on and so on you guys are gonna get a free t-shirt from yours truly and I already have it listed on uh, on my Instagram on what my t-shirt design is so for the 1500 subscriber 2000 subscriber and so on and so on you guys will get a win a free t-shirt from yours truly Chris Maverick so be sure to stay tuned for for upcoming details about that stay tuned for the 1000 video subscriber and hey stay tuned for more upcoming projects that I have coming up so until then I'm out baby